back to the channel. So today we're gonna go over how to perform a pull-up. Dare I say it, the perfect pull-up. <laughs> there are a lot of ways to do a pull-up. Uh, this is just some of the ways I like to implement. And if you can't do a pull-up yet, we're gonna go over some of the ways to strengthen your body to eventually be able to do that first pull-up. Let's get started. Let's say right now you're still working on that first pull-up. The bar is too high. How do you even get the strength to do it? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna work what's known as the negative phase or the eccentric phase of the pull-up. So pulling up is the concentric phase or the up phase of a pull-up where your muscle gets closer from the origin and insertion point. You don't need to really know that stuff, but basically going up is harder than controlling the descent. Hence why I have a chair. This chair lets me be higher. I'm just gonna jump a little bit pause at the top, squeeze my shoulder blades together, and then slowly lower down till my arms are straight. I'm not gonna let them just drop because I wanna train my muscles to engage on that eccentric phase. So from here, I like a little bit outside of shoulders. Some people, again, it depends on the grip you prefer. Um, you will work different parts of your body depending on how wide you go. So I go a little bit wider. I'm gonna jump up, hold for a moment, and then lower all the way down, skipping the chair on the way down so I can get that full extension. And then I can either drop to the floor or come back to the chair, jump up again, hold for a moment, and then lower my body down until it's straight. So pull-ups are a great way to strengthen your lats, um, your deltoids, um, your rhomboids, and just really everything you engage isometrically. Isometric means same tension. So when you're squeezing your legs tight, keeping anything taut, you're still working out. You're just not like dynamically working out, which is moving through the motion. You're still letting those other muscle groups lend themselves to the exercise, which plugs those energy leaks. I'm not thinking of pulling up. I'm thinking of pulling the bar down to me. It won't move, obviously I will, but that's the idea of how much force I wanna exert. So from here, I have my elbows slightly in front. I engage my chest by pushing the bar slightly in towards my hands, and then I pull myself up and squeeze my shoulder blades in the back. Again, I can hold here at the top if I want a little bit of a burn, and then I work that slow, eccentric phase on the way down, still keeping the legs tight together, my core engaged. But I want to go a little bit closer just to mix it up. Again, pull up. I like to get my chest to the bar. A lot of people try to just get their chin above. Think of your chest, because if you get your chest to the bar, you're for sure above it. There's also a typewriter pull up, so maybe you're here and you extend it out. I don't have a lot of room on this bar. Your body still weighs the same regardless of where your legs are. So having them behind you isn't like it's making your body lighter. If anything, I find it creates an energy leak in your body because now you're not engaging your core as much. Your legs are just kind of lazy. You can always do pull-ups with your legs out in front of you like a pike. So again, choose whatever grip feels comfortable. I like slightly wider than shoulder width. Bring my feet out in front. Everything else is the same with the pull-up. I attack the bar, chest to the bar, shoulder blades back. Some people like to cue towards your back pocket and then you just focus, keeping everything tight. I like to inhale on the way down, exhale explosively on the way up. Um, if you need someone to hold your feet to help you, that's fine, but if you're getting to that point where you're really getting them on your own or working the negative from a chair or something to jump off of, try switching it up with having your feet slightly out in front of you. And everyone wants to strengthen their core or so I hear, so you might as well add it to the workout. The more muscles engage, the stronger you get. And uh, it's just more efficient that way because when we move through life, I find personally, I don't have an upper body day where I don't use my legs. I don't have a lower body day where I don't use my arms. My personal preference is to do full body exercises. So even though this is a upper body exercise, I am isometrically engaging my lower body. Perfect practice makes perfect. Normal practice makes bad habits. There you have it guys, our perfect pull-up tutorial. I am now tired, so I'm gonna go get lunch. But if there's something else that I might have missed that you were really hoping that this video showed, make sure to comment below so we can make videos to address that.